Well, not as much as one would hope. I mean, we still see so many problems around the world ranging from, you know, famine and lack of water resources and I guess most of the people who are out talking about global warming would say some of these conditions are bound to get worse before they get better. The The good news is that um, I think technology potentially offers the solution to a lot of these kinds of problems. For countries that have not yet built up any kind of a communications infrastructure, I mean, unlike the United States where we have a an embedded wire-based infrastructure, you can kind of skip a couple of generations of technology, go wireless, and bring those technologies down into the hands of more people more cheaply than you would have been able to a couple of generations ago. In addition, I think that there's a lot of exciting work being done now on, uh, for example, distributed energy energy generation where you could have just one village or a handful of homes within a village could have their own um, energy production capabilities and their pr ability to produce their own fresh water and um, the tools that are needed to grow their own food. So I think uh, a lot of those things can incre increase and improve the living conditions for a lot of the world's people who, who really have continued to be left behind. Now when you look at not just the poorest of the poor countries, I think you're seeing technology completely transform economies like China and India. And uh, before that it was Korea and Singapore and the other Asian economies. And while there's still a lot to criticize about the living standards and the work lives that many people in those countries are experiencing when you compare it to the conditions that were there a decade ago, um, or certainly two decades ago, the impact that technology is having is extraordinary. And the economic growth that's being achieved by those economies is extraordinary. What I think we have to hope for is a way to get more and more countries on that bandwagon mm -hmm. so that more of the world can experience that kind of growth and it will be of great benefit to all of us. Um, there are a number of other promising things I was mentioning a couple of moments ago. The This ocean energy technology that can use the differential in ocean temperature to generate electricity for communities that are located um, a certain distance below the equator and that technology can at the same time produce fresh water. So you're seeing ways where technological advance can be begin to address multiple problems in some of um, these very poor countries now.